Welcome back. Oh, well, uh, uh, let's uh, do some fundamental analysis now. The markets, uh, are they at fundamentally attractive levels is the question we are asking. So uh, let's invite uh, Mr. Espithilsan.com into, Espithilsan Espithilsan into the conversation. Good morning, sir. Well, first of all, I wanted to ask you about Titan. I mean, uh, there was one brokerage note saying that uh, uh, because of the, uh, fest the, the dates of the festive season, they could have a problem of lower sales in the September quarter anyway. The company also guided uh, uh, and uh, gave a bit of a caveat for its guidance. What's your uh, sense? Ha has the stock fallen enough to reflect the fundamentals? Okay. Well, I think we are not able to get that audio, so we'll do derivative strategies and then go to Mr. Thulsa. Good morning, Vinod. Uh, uh, today, any strategy on the Nifty or are you only playing the stocks? No, I'm playing the Nifty as well. And good morning, Lata. And my sense is that the market has gone overboard in terms of the fears arising out of Hurricane Florence. Uh, let me tell our uh, viewers that there is no, it is going, it is not touching any platform. It is neither touching the deep sea port of Louisiana and it is going only the east coast which will essentially mean South and North Carolina. Okay. So, and it can also, it may not touch also. After all, the landfall is expected Friday. That means after the markets close Friday. That is the time which is expected. So you, you may not have a relief uh, going in Friday uh, because of crude. But I think it, uh, my sense is the crude has gone ballistic. And at this point of time, it makes sense to not to worry about the crude because it is going to come back uh, sliding down. So our sense is that we will buy in the afternoon, not in the morning. So we'll buy in the afternoon and I will buy the Nifty. I don't think it is going to break the 11,200 level. 11,171, 11,200, which was earlier the uh, support, if we will now act as a, a, a resistance, we will now act as a support. So 11, uh, we do not expect the Nifty to reach that level. So I'm buying the 11,300 call at 105, which quoted at 150 yesterday. So should it come down, will be a buyer. So that price may come in only in the afternoon. Stop loss at 50 and target around 200. That is for the Nifty. Okay. Minos, good morning. What about individual stocks then? Yes. Uh, individually, I am looking at those stocks which haven't, uh, uh, let's say, not not done fundamentally so, so long, and the derivatives positions also uh, are not on the greater side. The stock has fallen almost 7%. Uh, that is ITC. I am buying the 300 call at around 4 rupees. Stop loss. Uh, at I don't have a stop loss here. I'm, I'll buy that at 4 rupees. Maybe a stop loss at 2 and a target of around 10. Uh, <clears throat> uh, currently, it quotes at around 5.5. So, it should it fall to around 4, I'll buy at that point of time. Maruti is another stock which I'm buying. And I'm buying the 8,600 call at 120. It quoted at 142 yesterday. So, should it fall as much? At that is the point uh, time at which we can buy. Keep a stop loss at 80 and a target of around 200. For, for that is Maruti. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Vinod. Uh, okay, some more stocks. Sorry. Yes. Bata. I think. <coughs> yeah. Bata is also, yeah. that's, that's the Bata buy for you. A, yeah. yeah, Bata is a short, essentially. Okay. So, <coughs> investors uh, who have hold the stock can def definitely buy the put here. 1020 put at around 25. Stop loss at 18. Target of around 38. And another is SBI. Because of the, uh, b let's say, bank nifty, uh, uh, let's say, settlement today, uh, could be under pressure. So I'll use that opportunity to buy it later. So I'm buying the 285 call at around 6. Yesterday it closed at around 8 rupees. Stop loss at 4 and target around 11. Okay. All right. With that, uh, thank you very much, Viro. Uh, uh, and have a good trading week, uh, uh, holiday tomorrow, and uh, yes. uh, I guess a lighter week ahead. Uh, let's now invite Mr. Tushan. Uh, good morning.